Riverside residents emerged at the city council meeting on Tuesday night, November 13th, to voice their opinions on what the city should do with the cross that sits at the top of Mount Rubidoux. In August, the city received a letter from Americans United for Separation of Church and State, which had threatened to sue the city if the cross is not removed. Tuesday night, supporters and opponents of the cross gathered at City Hall to pitch their views to the Riverside City Councilman to make the right choice with the future of the cross. A wooden cross was positioned on the mountain in 1907 and then replaced in the 1950s with the concrete and steel cross that stands today. According to historian Bent Moses, Speakers at the meeting mentioned many views, including the idea that the cross is more of a landmark than anything else. Prior to the start of the city council meeting, groups were already venting their views to each other. We have different views. We have different opinions. That's not the same. I can guarantee a lot of people here, if it was not a cross up there and a different, a different symbol, I can guarantee people would be coming here demanding it to be taken down. Well, you know, it's a giant cross on the hill that overlooks the city of Riverside, and regardless of what the supporters of the cross will tell you, it's a giant symbol of Christianity, and this city isn't just for Christians. It's for all of us. And so it being on public land, first of all, is obviously unconstitutional, and that was made clear by the Americans United letter that came here to the city. But beyond that, if the city sells it, the city knows that the only people who have the wherewithal to buy that land are church groups. And so the same cross is going to be there on the same hill sending the same message that Riverside is first and foremost for Christians only. And I don't, I, I'm not okay with that. This cross is important to people of Riverside. It has been here a um, hundred years, if not more. It's a landmark in our city, it's as well as a navigational point for people in the city. You can look at the cross, know where you're going. It's beautiful. It's just, it's a part of Riverside history. It needs to stay here. City Councilman Mike Gardner said residents are going to be surprised that the council members are going to be quiet with their opinions on the situation. The council cannot favor an outcome. If we decide to sell this the cross and the land that it sits on, that 0.43 acres, we cannot favor one bidder over another. We cannot favor one outcome for the cross over another. You're used to us having opinions about all kinds of things. Sometimes we inflict them on you. Sometimes you like to hear them. I think you'll find us remarkably silent about our individual opinions of what should happen with the cross. Speakers at the meeting mentioned many views, including the idea that the cross is more of a landmark than anything else. Some of you and some of the men and women behind me can agree that the city does still want to promote this. Not promote religion, because that's between you and whoever you believe in, but promote the history of Riverside, promote the Easter Sunrise Service, and promote something that's been going on for 105 years. Yes, I am a Christian. Yes, I love Jesus Christ. But that cross is not what I worship. I worship a living God in my heart. But that cross is part of this community. It's part of its history. It's part of that mountain. And we deserve to fight for its relevance and its position to stay exactly where it is. I am Javier Cabrera for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.